The Last Kingdom is a really cool series, but there are also many other series out there if you like that kind of thing. Many people get lost in rewatching the same series, so today we're going to find those types of people some new shows. Stay tuned to today's video as we are going to discuss the best shows to watch if you loved The Last Kingdom. First up, we have House of Cards. The first show that you should be watching if you loved The Last Kingdom is none other than House of Cards. This show has completely ended and has some amazing reviews. Though the final season didn't work out as it should have, and the story kind of goes off the wall when Kevin Spacey left, it's overall an amazing show to get into. It's also all on Netflix, ready for you to watch. The struggle for power is a huge theme in The Last Kingdom, and House of Cards is fully about that theme. The series is full of political moments where characters are all fighting to gain some sort of power over one another. Though the series isn't set in the same time period at all as The Last Kingdom, the same power vibes are all throughout House of Cards. If you loved The Last Kingdom, you should really give House of Cards a shot. Even if you just watched the first season of it, it's nice to give another show a shot. If you have already watched House of Cards, let us know down in the comments below what you thought about it. Next, we have Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy might not be the type of show you would expect to be on a list about The Last Kingdom, but these series do have some similarities for its audience to enjoy. Though Sons of Anarchy is about a modern-day biker gang, the theme of tribes and groups really plays into this show, and of course it does in The Last Kingdom. The main character, Jax, has to balance being a good father with being a top guy in an outlaw biker gang. He bristles under authority, including that of his own mother, played to sinister perfection by Katie Sagal, the de facto leader. In a way, Jax was once royalty, but essentially now has to prove himself all over again, just like Uhtred. The Sons of Anarchy, rather than fight for a whole kingdom, they fight for their territory and their stakes. It's a really cool show and something you should definitely check out. And now, Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is an amazing show, even if you aren't a huge fan of The Last Kingdom, but these shows do in fact have some similarities and are both amazing. Tommy's kingdom building isn't about unifying the feuding castles of the British island, it's about rising to the top of the now unified Great Britain. His quest from lowly commoner to lord and politician is equal parts thoughtful and violent. Peaky Blinders is set in Britain post-World War II, so tension is very high. It follows gangsters trying to control Birmingham and fight against other groups. It's all about family and bonds. Business plays a huge role in the show as well, and it feels like a different version of The Last Kingdom. Tom Hardy is also in the show, and he really makes up some of the best parts. Let us know if you would recommend this to others. And finally, The Witcher. Our final show that we recommend to watch is The Witcher on Netflix. This show is completely fantasy and follows Geralt of Rivia and his adventures as a monster hunter known as a Witcher. Though the series is completely fictional and not historic at all, like The Last Kingdom, The Witcher has many elements that fit themes in The Last Kingdom. Many of The Witcher moments feel straight out of something like The Last Kingdom and really make them seem similar. From medieval battles to sword fights in hillside areas, all of this makes this a really cool project that any The Last Kingdom fan should check out at some point. And that's all the shows for today. Stay tuned for some more Last Kingdom news. Now, why was The Last Kingdom cancelled, and what does the future hold for The Last Kingdom? Though the series was going pretty strongly, Netflix at the time had a track record of cancelling many shows for seemingly no reason. Shows that were doing super well, and shows that had a very strong fan base were cancelled out of nowhere. According to ScreenRant.com, Netflix officially cancelled The Last Kingdom on April 30th, 2021, but didn't provide a specific reason. Given that the streaming service is notorious for not renewing popular shows after two or three seasons, the decision may not be a huge surprise to subscribers who aren't fans of the show. In 2021 alone, Netflix has cancelled several original productions, including British shows like The Duchess and The Irregulars. In the past, critically acclaimed series like Tuca and Birdie and The OA were cut short as well, presumably because of the low viewing numbers, though Netflix rarely confirms or denies such things. The Last Kingdom's cancellation shocked loyal fans and prompted some to petition for a series continuation. This cancellation brought up ideas of more content happening soon, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Though there are many more stories to cover and more books to adapt, it doesn't look like Netflix or any other streaming platform care about carrying on this series. However, though it seems like Netflix doesn't care, they have actually announced a film based upon The Last Kingdom. We are getting a film named The Last Kingdom Movie, Seven Kings Must Die. This has been announced as a sequel to the series and will follow on from the ending that Season 5 gave us. Though the series won't continue with more seasons, this film should wrap things up and end the series on a high note. Sadly, fans aren't getting more than this, but at least this movie is set to be amazing and funded by Netflix. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comment section below. Should the series get another season, or are you happy with just a movie sequel? Let us know. Next up is The Last Kingdom Season 5, Edward to become Uhtred's enemy after tragic death. Fans were excited to hear that the final season of The Last Kingdom finally has a release date, and that's going to be March 9th. The season should bring to an end all the character storylines 
that we have been following for a while now. One of the biggest things people want to know is about the relationship and ongoing story between Edward and Uhtred. As the series is based upon a book series, fans have taken to the source material to see what could happen in this final season. In the book, The Flamebearer, Aethel Flayed reveals to Uhtred that she is dying. This means that she cannot take care of the future king, Aethelstan. Though her death doesn't happen until later on in the story, because this is the show's final season, it looks like it's going to be moved up. Because of her death, we see Edward attempt to take over as the ruler of Mercia, but Uhtred refuses to bow their head to Edward and questions who will take the throne. If the books are going to play out in this final season, it looks like Edward and Uhtred will be fighting at some point during this next and final season. Though this is the final season of the show, it doesn't seem like the story is ending here. After the series has wrapped up, a film will be released titled Seven Kings Must Die. This film is set to be a continuation of Uhtred's story and will be bringing his story to its conclusion. Obviously, we don't know everything that's going to happen, so we are going to have to wait and see. Let us know down in the comment section below what you think of all of it. And finally, what is going on with Netflix and canceling all of these shows? Though they haven't been doing it a lot recently, Netflix and many other streaming services have been canceling shows left and right, and for seemingly no reason at all. Though this seems like they are doing it because of budget, they are actually doing it for a marketing reason. Many shows that have been canceled over the past few years have been brought back months or years later. Sometimes shows are canceled, and then they are bought by Netflix in order for a better budget. It seems like Netflix cancels a show to test its fan base and to see if it's worth carrying on. Netflix can see the viewership amount on each show and probably each episode, but it isn't always the best depiction of if the show is doing well or not. Is the show being spoken about on social media? Are there TikToks about the show, etc.? They want people to talk about the show and then watch it by spreading it around through socials. If they cancel a show, this means that the fan base will become even more vocal and possibly want the show to return. What do you think? Let us know down below. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know in the comment section down below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like this video, comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thanks for watching today's video. Bye!